ahead and do that. And, uh, you know, I kind of laugh and begin to realize over time that when I saw people looking at their phones during church, sometimes I, oh, look, I didn't turn the sound off. I'm already starting to beep, uh, so I better uh, get, find a way to stop that. And uh, so, uh, but uh, I appreciate that, and uh, like I say, if I... Don't get your name with it. I still won't know what the, uh, that is, but uh, I really appreciate that. And if for some reason you can't do that right now, I would say please do it sometime So, because uh, we'll be working together on that, and I appreciate that. Um, I'm looking at Scripture today from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and the Scripture says in verse 17, uh, 18, and and following. Uh, Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Music is an important part of our following Jesus, and it's a blessing that we're able to have singing uh, in our services. And... uh, uh, Brother Johnson and Angie are away. He's preaching somewhere. They didn't tell me where today. Uh, so Margie has agreed to play the piano for, her and I, for us, and I appreciate that. Uh, if you're able, I want to invite you to stand and let's ask God's presence to be amongst us as we sing today, and then Daryl's going to come and lead us uh, in our first hymn. Oh, Lord, we do thank you for all the blessings that you are doing amongst us today. Help us to live for you and to know that you are at work here in this place. Help us as we make melody today, Lord, in our hearts and in our mouths and in every other way that we would be able to recognize your presence amongst us and bring us into your presence in all that we do. We thank you. Amen. Amen. Daryl, come lead us. Our first hymn, as you can see, is uh, found in the Cokesbury book. I will sing the wondrous story. It's number 91. You want to get, the, get that out. I think we're going to keep on singing. Okay. Verse 3. I was free. Oh. 
If you'd please join me in reciting the Apostles' Creed, which is found in number 881, or on the screen. I believe in God the Father, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now we'll take a few minutes to greet our friends and neighbors.
14 in the garden. Yes. We're going to start off this morning with number 314 in the Methodist Temple in the garden. And what we do is we sing um, two verses normally, and I'll just let you know which one based on what I like. <laughs> so we're going we're to do one and two. Next, page 30 in the Cokesbury. Page 30 in the Cokesbury.
199 in the Cokesbury. 199 in the Cokesbury. Sweet by and by. Regular hymnal 405. But you didn't know it was dance along Sunday too. <laughs> Victory in Jesus. Do we know what number that is, dear? 370. 370. Victory in Jesus. Thank you. 
367? 367. He touched me. like I was with Bill and Gloria Gaither. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, yes, ma'am. 377.
137 in the Cokesbury. One thirty seven in the Coke Bay. And Margie nods. I got this. Isn't this good? And uh, some of y'all got some more you want to sing. We'll try to do that. I don't know that we're staying here long enough to sing what everybody wants to sing, though. Uh, Daryl's good at managing time better than I am on that. But uh, uh, but I realized some years back that I'd learned more uh, about theology and about my relationship with God through the hymns of the church than I did in any courses I ever took. And by the way, I've taken a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not opposed to going to school, but I just believe that the hymns of the church help us to know uh, the faith of the church. And so it's a good thing for us to sing together. Uh, I'm going to, uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer and uh, you see there on the back of the bulletin, we do have prayer lists. I think we've got some of them up here as well. Uh, we've had some added this week. I know uh, we want to pray for Chad Farrell. His daughter uh, is here with us today. And uh, he fell and broke his arm. And, And also, uh, Daryl and Susan's former family member, Ke uh, Keely Evie, uh, has just been diagnosed with cancer, and so we want to pray for her uh, today as well. And uh, I know you've all maintained connection with her, and uh, so we want to pray for her. Others y'all want to update or uh, mention out loud? Yes, Alan.
pray for him. Yes, son. Oh. Yes, Amy. We will pray for Adam. Yes, Alicia. Others? Let's lift our hearts to the Lord today. Oh, Lord Jesus, we do thank you for the opportunity we have to gather together, sing your praises, but most of all, to know that we're in your presence today, Lord. And even though we recognize that you are with us everywhere and there is no place we can go where we'll be outside your presence, there is just something about being together with your people uh, gathered together in your name that helps us to experience you in a different sort of way. And so, Lord, we thank you for that today. And I ask you to help us recognize that uh, we have so much to be grateful for today uh, with the way that you have helped us and worked in our lives and also, Lord, and most of all, Lord, because of what you did when you came into our world and lived amongst us and suffered for us and died on the cross for us and rose again. We thank you for the promise that we have that you stand at the right hand of God the Father today making intercession for us. So help us to look to you for the answer to every need that we have. We pray today for our world, Lord. And we realize that there are so many people around the world who are suffering and need help from you. There is war and violence and uh, things done uh, through governments and other things today, Lord, who affect so many people. We pray for the nations of the world and their leaders today, and we pray for our own world, uh, for our own nation today, and for the leaders of our nation, of every position and party. We pray for our President Joe Biden. But, Lord, we believe that you are at work in the lives of each one of these people to bring about your will in our world. And sometimes we look around and it's hard for us to recognize that. But we thank you for the fact that you are at work. Now, we do pray for these who are on our list today. And we ask that your touch would be upon each one. And for those who have been mentioned out loud here today as well, we do pray, Lord, for your healing touch upon each one who has a physical issue there today. And, Lord, we just ask that you'd work. We know that there are many of us that carry unspoken requests. And, Lord, help us to look to you for every need that we represent in our heart. Uh, and in addition to these other things today, Lord, we pray that you'd help those of us who grieve loss today uh, because we know that there are some here who've had very recent uh, and very intense loss, but there are others of us who uh, experience that over a long period of time, and the ache just continues on. And, Lord, we just ask that you'd help us. Now, Lord, we have not mentioned every need out loud today. I pray that you'd help each of us to be able to recognize that you will do what we need as we bring our needs to you. So as we come before you in a time of silence, we pray that your Holy Spirit would minister to us. Could we pray together the prayer the Lord taught us to pray the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Ushers, will you come and help us with this morning's tithes?
Okay, 526 in the blue book, 526.
somebody look up there's something about that name? Do we have that one in here? Yeah, it's in this one. Is it in here? Let's do that. No, no, 171. songs within our hearts. 